we have a flow transmitter and it is heart based smart flow transmitter. It is configured with 0 to 100 meter cube per hour range. It supports output 4 to 20 milliamp base signal. We have a DCS system distributed control system. Now this DCS system is connected with this instrument using two wires. This is the positive wire and this is the negative. DCS provides 24 volts DC power supply to the field instrument. This flow transmitter measures the flow in a pipeline. Let's say for example the flow is 0 meter cube per hour. There is no flow at all. So the transmitter regulates the loop current accordingly as per the measured flow rate. What is the signal range? 4 to 20 milliamp signal. The 4 represents lower range value. The 20 represents upper range value. Right now the flow is 0. Then this flow transmitter regulates the loop current to the 4 milliampere. See the flow transmitter sending 4 milliampere to the DCS. The DCS measures this loop current and then displays to the operator. So on the operator computer it is displaying 0 meter cube per hour. So this is the basic concept for a 4 to 20 milliamp based instrument which is configured in a DCS system. Let's say the flow increased to 25 meter cube per hour. Again the transmitter measures this flow rate and updates the loop current accordingly. Now the transmitter sending 8 milliampere to the DCS system. The DCS receives this 8 milliampere and the DCS is already configured with the flow transmitter details. For example, the transmitter's range is 0 to 100 meter cube per hour and its equivalent signal is 4 to 20 milliampere signal. Accordingly, the DCS converts this measured milliampere into the equivalent flow rate and then displays onto the computer graphics. Say the flow is increased to 50 meter cube per hour. Again, transmitter sends 12 milliampere signal to the DCS system. The DCS converts this 12 milliampere into equivalent flow rate and displays 50 meter cube per hour in the computer graphics.